Hey guys, thought I'd do a reading update video. To be honest, I've been watching a lot more YouTube videos and booktube videos. I kind of got sucked into the, the black hole there. And one thing I noticed lately is that the algorithms would serve up these videos off to the side, talking about the dangers of dopamine addiction. And they usually talk about it with regards to just overusage and overconsumption of social media and the use of smartphones, um, almost to the point where, you know, people are going on these movements now to, uh, to fight it, like no surf or going back to the days of using a dumb phone. One thing that people talk about when they go on these uh, digital diets is that they suddenly have more free time and that they're able to read books again. For me, I think it's sort of the opposite. I think my particular vice is reading. You know, every single day for the past three decades, uh, never thinking about taking a break. And I come to realize that maybe that is the source of this you know, anxiety, there's a certain level of depression. Okay, well, what if I just totally cut out the reading? Just wipe the slate clean? Make it the challenge for this year, uh, just not to read any books at all. So I did I did start doing that. I went on this language diet, and it's been about a month. Say, honestly, it's just cleared up. Uh, I could see things. I'm just clear as glass, just having random conversations with strangers, talking to my family members. But there's you know, just going cold turkey like that, I just started to feel like those moments at night when I'm the most susceptible, uh, just like right before I go to sleep. Maybe I'll sneak in a, a haiku or a poem. Like I, I can totally handle it, you know, but I just suppress all that down and just totally blue ball it for that night. One thing that I forgot to do was I forgot to clear out this cabinet in my bathroom where I keep some books. And there was this one book that just kept creeping in so i said oh fuck it man let's just uh if we're gonna do this let's just relapse hardcore just being on this this language diet i was so thirsting for anything any words like the letters don't even have to make sense i think the trick with this book is to carve out like maybe 30 minutes or uh you know just kind of get through the first like 10 pages of your session because then you know you're coming to this book with certain reading techniques and expectations and joyce just obliterates it it's sort of like this sheer wall that you're confronted with and um you know even more so than the first time i read the recognitions this book to me is like this sheer wall that goes up into infinity and it doesn't offer you any hand or footholds to grab onto side of this book is just so dynamic shifting around so to me it's almost like this um abstract expressionist painting and i like to read this book in a state between waking and sleeping where things get really vague and syrupy and almost disciplined like what the text is doing here doesn't really matter it's more like what uh, the suggestive hallucinogenic words that come up behind the text uh, are doing to you and if you can see beyond uh, what you find is that this book is just this huge gigantic mirror i noticed about myself and this book is just an extremely perverse person i think you can find you know other books that uh, you can find the solutions to problems in this book i'm john lennon sorry i'm really here i'm all kinds of memes 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 i you know i i kind of felt bad i Went through this um, period of depression, which I'm still not over exactly. I actually think I fried my brain to the point where it's just smashed up beyond repair and worse than before. Uh, so I'm just taking it day by day at this point. You know, I have hope that uh, I can achieve that ideal state of illiteracy uh, again. Um, but yeah, hashtag no read. Thanks for watching, guys. That's the gang boss.